So I'm going to start with a triangle here. It could be any triangle, but we'll just make it an acute triangle for this example. And what I want to find is the mid-segment. So using my patty paper, I'm going to construct the three mid-segments. Now, a mid-segment is connecting two midpoints. So I need to first find the midpoints on each side. So using patty paper, since it is transparent, I can fold a side over to match the endpoints, which you can see right there. So now that these are matching, I can just make a little pinch of the paper, open it back up, and this is my midpoint. Now I realize when I folded it here, the other parts didn't match up over on the side, and that's fine. We're not worried about those parts. We want that midpoint. So now I take this side. I'm going to find its midpoint, match up the ends, pinch the paper, there's endpoint number two. Third side, I'm going to fold it, match them up, now pinch there, and there is midpoint number three. So now I can take my straight edge and connect these three midpoints, which gives us mid-segments. So each of these are a mid-segment formed from midpoints. Now by the mid-segment theorem, we know that the mid-segment, maybe this side, we'll label it here. We have A, B, C, and this will be D, E. Mid-segment D, E is parallel to A, D, but it's also half the length. So if I'm saying that this is two double marked segments, this one would be one. Now we can test this by using our other piece of patty paper. So I could come down and look maybe at AB, which is from here to here. Now if I took my other piece of patty paper and now folded that in half, again, thinking midpoint, and pinched the paper, it gives me a new point. Now let me connect some lines here. And that new half distance turns out to be the same half distance of the mid-segment. So this one segment is the same down below where I have two of them.